Good evening. It's Facebook Love number 141. It's September 11th, which uh, is somber. I think we all who are old enough think about what that day felt like and where we were, who we spoke to, the questions that we held in our minds, especially the ones we were afraid to say out loud. Today is also six months since the Friday evening in March when most of us left our workplaces wondering what would happen the following week. And what happened the following week for me is I, I went in on Monday the 16th of March and was told, hey, pack up your stuff and move your office home. And here I am, still. And we've learned that People in charge knew exactly what was going on, as we suspected. Certainly by mid-January. Definitely evidence shows by early February. Enough that the leader of our country was saying so to a journalist to try to impress him with his knowledge, with the secrets that he knew. He lied, and people have died. Many. Today, though, I'm not, uh, I'm not sitting in anger today. Today, I'm thinking about the earth, and I'm thinking about protesting. I was very inspired by Jane Fonda earlier this week. She was talking about what protesting is about, what it's for, why it works, how to do it effectively. So I have a few poems about that today, and... Um, one is short and directly about protesting, and one is long, and I'll let it speak for itself. Because Facebook love is, above all, about managing and finding beauty. This first piece is by David Huerta, and it was translated from Spanish. It's called, Before the Protest in the Street is Dispersed. The forest of protesters flows like a river, as if it were cautiously advancing toward the castle of Count West West or Macbeth, Burnham Wood. The protesters are Macduff. They are surveyors as well. Electricity travels up and down the column, woods or river of protesters, and that electricity will later resemble a whip Someone is snapping, but not at the moment. For now, the protesters are pressing forward, filled with lyricism, filled with literature. They are marching in this poem. And then the police will come. We'll cut down those trees. We'll dam that river. We'll erase this lyricism with the crude prose of their clubs, and this poem will end as I am ending now, with that final period barely visible through the acrid clouds of the tear gas grenades before the protest in the street is dispersed by David Huerta. By the way, I will remind any of you that have been witnessing the protests happening ever since George Floyd was lynched in the streets, that tear gas is illegal. It is not meant to be used against protesters in our country or any country. And our own police have been doing that. It's illegal. Here is a long piece by Cecile Rahendra. It's called My Message. I'm gonna change this a little, it seems awkward. I think that's better, okay. My Message. And now you ask, what is my message? I say with Nabokov, I am a poet, not a postman. I have no message. 
but I want the cadences of my verse to crack the carapace of indifference, prize open, torpid eyelids, thick coated with silver. I want syllables that will dance, pirouette in the fantasies of nymphettes. I want vowels that float into the dreams of old men. I want my consonants to project kaleidoscopic visions on the screens of the blind and on the eardrums of the deaf. I want pentameters that sing like 10,000 mandolins. I want such rhythms as will shake pine, angsana, oak, and moranti out of their pacific slumber, uproot themselves, hurdle over buzzsaw and bulldozer, and rush to crush with long, heavy toes merchants of defoliance. I want stanzas that will put a sten gun in the paw of polar bear and tiger, a harpoon under the fin of every seal, whale, and dolphin, arm them to stem the massacre of their number. I want every punctuation, full stop, comma, and semicolon, to turn into a grain of barley, millet, maize, wheat, or rice in the mouths of our hungry. I want each and every metaphor to metamorphose into a rooftop over the heads of our homeless. I want the assonances of my songs to put smiles on the faces of the sick, the destitute, and the lonely, pump adrenaline into the veins of every farmer and worker, the battle-scarred and the weary. And yes, yes, I want my poems to leap out from the page, rip off the covers of my books, and march forthrightly to the sea of somnolent humanity. Lay bare the verbs, vowels, syllables, consonants, and say, these are my sores, my wounds. This is my distended belly. Here I went, ragged and hungry. In that place I bled, was tortured. And on this electric cr cross, I died. Brothers, sisters, here I am. That poem by Cecile Rahindra is called My Message. I thought of something as I was reading. It escaped a lot of the news, but when that um, terrible windstorm went through Illinois and Iowa uh, just weeks ago, derecho, is that the word? Many, many, many crops were destroyed in the state of Iowa, and the governor asked for federal help, and our current president said, only help to rebuild federal buildings, no help for farmers, no help for anybody. He lied, he lied to us. And now so many people are gone, real people with lives and families and friends. We should be furious, you better get out and vote. This is Facebook Love number 141. I'll see you next week. <laughs>